In this video, I will show you how to create planner tasks in Power Apps and add checklist items to them as you are seeing it right now in the intro. First of all, you need a text input and a button to add checklist items to your collection. You also need a gallery with a text label inside to display the checklist items in the collection. Let's have a look at how a checklist in Planner is built. Therefore, I go to the Microsoft documentation for Planner and search for update task details. In the table you can see that ID title is checked or not are required. Now I will go back to Power Apps and click on my screen. Then I will select the on visible property of my screen and add a collection. I name it call create checklist. I will set the ID to zero, is checked to false and the title to blank strings. After that, I will clear the collection to remove the blank record that is created. In the next step, I select the items property of my gallery and enter the collection as my data source and make sure the text label is showing the title. After that, I need to edit the onSelect property of my button to add checklist items. I collect the same collection I created before with the same records. For the ID, I count rows of my collection and add plus one for each new checklist. The isChecked value will be false for now and the title will be from my text input. After I am done, I will reset the text input. Now I can add checklist items to my collection and display them in my gallery. But there is one issue. If you take a look at the Microsoft Planner limits, Scroll down to task limits, you will see that you can add up to 20 checklist items to a task. To prevent error codes and other problems, I will change the display mode of my button. If the collection does not have 20 items, the button will be clickable and if there are 20 items, the button will be turned off. I will do the same for the text property. As long as there are not 20 items, it should be add, otherwise it should show me limit reached. Now I will add 20 items to test if it works. As you can see, the button is disabled and the text is limit reached. My collection now contains 20 records with ID 1 to 20. Finally, I need to change the code for my add task button. But before I do that, 
I would like to move it somewhere else and rename it. Before I continue with the last step, there is another issue I need to show you. In the last video, I used the create task function to create a planner task. But if we look at the Microsoft documentation for planner, go to create task, there is no way to add checklists while creating a task. The only way to do it is as I have shown you earlier with the update task details function. So, since I need the task ID first, I will use the with function. This way, I can put the create task function within the scope of the with function and with its ID, I can use the update task details function to add my checklist collection. Finally, I reset my checklist collection. Now, I should be able to create a planner task in Power Apps and add up to 20 checklist items to my task. So, to test this, I select a plan and a bucket. I name the task title testing checklist items. I select a start and due date and set its priority to urgent. The checklist will come from my collection and we have already added checklist items to our collection. As you can see, from A to T. And now, when I add my task, the gallery becomes empty, because we resetted the collection after creating the task. Now I switch to the Planner app and select my plan. As you can see, my task is created with all its checklist items from A to T. When I go back to Power Apps and add a new task with a different title, Priority and New Checklist Items for YouTube, Subscribe to my channel and like the video, you can see this new task with new checklist items in my planner app.